Hey, what's up guys? My name is Ilyas and welcome to your 16th tutorial on jQuery. And in this tutorial, we are going to uh, continue working on our chatbot. And um, in, the, in our last tutorials, we uh, built this chatbot and everything. And in the last tutorial, in the 15th tutorial, we split uh, the whole thing into three components, which is JavaScript, HTML, and CSS. And in the next tutorials, we are only going to work with the JavaScript and jQuery, of course. So we don't need the, the HTML part and the CSS part. And the first thing I want to do, I don't like the way how the chatbot displays the messages. Because, um, you know, if I answer, well, it's asking for my name. And if I, if I answer, I just say jQuery. It replies immediately. And it doesn't really look natural. So... I decided to um, to make the chatbot look like more naturally, so so that it will um, need like a second or something to answer. And uh, so let's just go ahead and do that. So you know we split our code into functions, and every function is is responsible for some certain thing. And uh, the function we are going to work with today is the send message function, because what the send message function does, it uh, it takes as a parameter a message, which is a which is a text uh, from the chatbot from the from the AI function, and the AI function uh, AI uh, stands for artificial intelligence, but you can actually call it whatever you want, like, and. So the the function send message is um, is called from the message AI, for, I mean from the function AI, and it displays the message on the screen. So now what I want to do is uh, I want to I want the chatbot messages apply on the screen with a delay, and I want them to fade in on the screen. So and um, Let's just go ahead and add some new span element. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm willing to to uh, put the message from the chatbot into a span so that we can access it using jQuery. And let's give it a class uh, of current message. And make sure you use um, some other type of Parentheses. If you already used uh, like double parentheses, you you make sure you, uh, you use a single parentheses um, when you use it when you use them nested. So uh, now we have a class current message, and uh, let's just close this span. So let me close the span tag like this. So now what I did, I just placed this message uh, into a into a into a new span, which is current current message span. And now what I want to do is uh, I want to hide the current message so that the message is not displayed. So I want to select the current message class first and just say hide. And then after we hit it, we want to uh, make it fade into the screen. So I will select the current message again, and I want to make a delay. And in order to make a delay in jQuery, you just use the function delay. And in the brackets, you can either type slow or fast, or give your own value in milliseconds. And let's just say 500 milliseconds, which is a half a second. And then after the delay, we can uh, place a dot and say fade in. And make sure you, sp you spell the i uppercase. Otherwise, uh, the jQuery won't uh, run this function. So now uh, what our code will do, it will display a message from a bot. It will hide it right away. And then after a delay of 500 milliseconds, it will display the message. And the function fade in, what it does, it grabs um, an element which is hidden and then it makes it fade in 
uh, in a very very nice way. And after we we did it, after we display the current message, we we want to get rid of this class current message because this message is no longer current after it's sent. And let's just select the current message again and use the jQuery building function called remove class. And you can type the name of the class, which is current message, and you don't need the dot because we are not going to select select it in this remove class function. And this remove class uh, function just takes as a parameter a class name, which is current message, of course. And so um, let's just go ahead and uh, see what's going to happen. Um, well, now we're getting some issues. Let me fix them real quick. I want to figure out what's happening. Yeah, I forgot to close the span tag right here. Well, it, it happens to me sometimes. Uh, so it's normal if it, if it will happen to you. Just make sure you always close uh, the HTML tags. All right, let's just go ahead and do it again. And as you see, this chatbot message appeared on the, on the screen with a delay. And it, it kind of it is kind of fading in. And then we can say our name is, I don't know, Josh. And the chatbot is answering like oh, after a while, and the message is fading in. So um, that's it for this tutorial. And I hope you guys had fun and learned new stuff. And in this tutorial, we are going to make some more cool things. And thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. <laughs>